Hey guys, welcome back to CheatSheetPros.com. We're going to look at some prize pick plays for college basketball on Wednesday, the 23rd of February. I really wasn't planning on doing one of these videos every day, but I've had so much fun with the comments and people looking at them and really liking the plays and getting into it that I wanted to set aside some time over my lunch break today to go ahead and pick out some more plays for you guys and post the video so we can have some fun with it. So let's go ahead and get started. So as always, we've got the cheat sheet. We're going to pull the last 10 to 12 games, look at the stats versus the projections. We're going to sort the high to low, just like we do in NBA, and we're going to compare the minutes to make sure there's not a huge drop off in minutes. And then I'm going to come over here, and one of the first things I did is just sort the projected points versus the average points from high to low. So I'm going to pull this here. So the guys in green are the one I really like that I'm going to look at doing my five player card with. I just wrote some notes over here to kind of run over with you so we could keep this video short and sweet. And then the orange guys are guys we're going to look at for kind of tier two plays. So let's go ahead and get started. The first one is Jabari Smith. So he's going to come up at the top of the list here. We can see he's playing 28 to 30 minutes, still projected about the same. He's projected for about 17 points, but he's recently been averaging almost 30 so he pops as someone that we need to go take a look at. So when we pull up his game logs and we take a look at it, we see that he's got 28 and 31 points in his last two games. So he is absolutely red hot. What I like about Auburn tonight is they are playing at home where they are phenomenal. So you're usually going to get the best game from them at home. And let me see. I don't think I pulled the Jabari stats up. So... He's been over this in three of the last four games, so that's what I'm going to start my card off with tonight, so hopefully that works out. And then moving on, the second guy that comes up, I can't even pronounce his name, we're going to call him Mr. Smith. So his points here is 15 and a half. He's coming off of a 26-point game, and he's also got a 19 and a 25 recently. So he's someone that I wanted to look into. When I pulled up his individual game logs, uh, let me close that. When I pulled up his individual game logs, I always try to look and see, you know, field goal attempts. So he's taken a lot of field goal attempts. If we look at this, he's been over this number in seven of the last 11 games. So he's on a seven and four overrun. So we definitely like that. Um, as far as his rebounds, I had a note here over five rebounds. So another play that popped out at me after I made it through all these was over five rebounds. You can see he has nine, seven, two, five, and six. And so he's someone that showed up on the rebounding. And if you look at his rebounds, he's got over, over, push, over, loss, over. So he's been doing really well recently. He's got 15 rebounds in the last two games. Um, and there was something else I was going to point out on there, but I can't remember what it is. So just... Consider his points or rebounds. I think either one of those is going to be viable. I may go his rebounds prop. I am not 100% sure yet, but I do like the guys in green. The next guy is going to be Jermaine, whatever his last name is, and we are going to take a look, kind of see what he looks at. So he popped for points. Now, I do not like his points prop because he's been all over the place. He has 2, 8, and 8, and then 33. So I would want to know what changed in these games. So... I'm not that interested in a South Carolina play, so I'm not really going to look at that. But what I am interested in as a Tier 2 play is his fantasy score. So he's been over this in four games, so when he's not scoring those points, I'm sure he's going out there getting the rebounds, getting the assists, block steals. He's putting up points in other ways. So if you do need another play, Jermaine Cousinard, we're going to go with, his fantasy points over would be one that I would look at. And then going down to a play that I actually like is Johnny Davis. Oh boy, that was a whole bunch of Davises. Where'd we go? So, okay, it's listed as Jonathan Davis. Do, do, do. So let's pull up and we had his points. So we like his points prop to go over 20.5. In three of the last four games, look at these games. He had 25 against Michigan, 30 against Indiana, a 25 here. He only had 11 against Rutgers, but that's fine. And then let's take a look at his game log. So pulling him up, he has been, let's see, what was his points number? 20 and a half. So he has been, oh, I didn't even have it on the right one. So over, over, under, over, under, over. 
So he's on a four and two overrun, but what I also like about this is see his average points per game here, home and road. He averages 18.5 points per game in his 13 games at home, but he averages 23.8 points per game on the road, and they are on the road tonight. So I already liked it over his recent stats, but he's averaging more on the road, so that's a plus. So we like Johnny Davis to go over 20 and a half points tonight. And then going down, the next guy we have over here is Wendell Moore. Let's go ahead and take a look at him. He is uh, doo -doo -doo, orange, so he is going to be a tier two play. And one of the ones I liked about him was, let's see, what is it, 16, 17, last three games. Oh, I clicked Wendell Green. I was wondering, I was like, thought I was losing my mind. Okay, Wendell Moore, the last three games, he's had 16, 16, and 17 points. So he's been doing really well for Duke, so we like his points to go over. Um, I didn't have any other notes there, but they've got a tight game against Virginia. The one thing that, and I didn't pull up his game logs, um, and I was thinking the last time, yeah, the last time they played Virginia, he only had nine points. So that was a little bit of a red flag, but I like the 16, 16, 17 over the last three games. And this should be a competitive game tonight. So we like him to go over that number again. Again, he is a tier two play. And then Jakey, we like, he's got a four and one over when playing over 22 minutes. So that's a interesting way to skew the stats. So he's got 39 points over the last two games. I like him to go over 14 and a half tonight. Wake Forest is minus three versus Clemson. Vegas projects to be close. I really like Wake Forest in this game. They were one of my bets on my college hoops betting video. And then pulling up his numbers here. So we had 14 and a half points. So he's got over, over, under, under, over, over. So he's got a four and two over, but this game against Miami, Florida, he only played 22 minutes, so he was getting a bit of a break. I don't know if that's true or he had an injury, but if he plays more than 22 minutes, he's hit four of the last five overs. So we like him to go over again. He is green, so he is one of my top plays that I am going to play myself. And then going down here, we got Isaiah Brockington. And so he is, slides down to a tier two play. The 17 and a half points really popped because of his last three games. He's got 22, 20, and 27. So going over 17 and a half seems like a no brainer. It's a tougher matchup against West Virginia. And he's someone I did pull up his game logs to take a look at. So he's got this over, under, over, over, and then kind of three unders and then an over. So kind of all over the place. But what worries me that drops him down to a tier two play is his field goal attempts. They're not consistent. So here he had eight in 32 minutes, but then in the next game he had 28 in 36 minutes. So that's a huge gap going from eight shots to 28 shots. So there's a little bit risk, a little bit of risk for him. So he drops down to a tier two play for me, but someone that I may consider depending upon how many cards I do. So Nate Watson's the next guy, and I was kind of torn on him. I didn't really know where to go. Um, he's got a high home average. Providence at home has been really good. Um, I like him to go over 15 and a half points. He's got 22 and 20 the last two games, and he's been over this in four of the last five games. And let me see. I pulled up his game logs. And so he's had... Yeah, he's been on a pretty good run. Over, 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 under, over, over. And then he only played 18 minutes there, didn't have any points. And then over, under, over. So he's been on a really good run. And then looking at his home away average on the road, he averages 11.6 points per game. At home, 15.4. So he's much better at home. Providence has a big matchup tonight. So we like Nate Watson to go over 15 and a half points. And he's someone I put in the yellow. I'm not sure if I want to go tier one. I'll probably put him in a tier one play. I kind of like that one. I've got six plays that I like now for my tier one, and I need five for my flex card, so I don't really know where I'm going to sit, but I'm going to go after one and have some fun. Emmanuel Miller, he made it in the tier one for points, I believe. So TCU is not very good. They have a tough matchup against Texas, but Texas does play quick and score a lot of points. He's been over this in four of the last five games. And I believe, so we'll close him out. And I believe I pulled his game logs up. 
And I think he's been over it in five of the last six. So our number was 12 and a half. So he's got over, 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 under, over, over. Yeah, so he's been over in five of the last six. So expecting him to continue that and go over, that's fine. This 14-point game worries me a little bit because that's only one basket over. But then he's got 16, 16, 19. So he's, he's productive. So we like him to get over that number. I don't think that's asking too much. And then let's take a look. We got one more play here, Blake Wesley. And we were looking at his, I'm assuming it's going to be points. Yep. Over the last three, he's got 24, 18, and 21 points. So over the last five, he's averaging 17.6, which is almost three points over this line of 14 and a half. Now, Notre Dame versus Syracuse is a semi-tough matchup, but he's been putting up enough points. I like him to get over it. I did pull up his game logs. And so our number here, 14 and a half, we've got over, 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 under, 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 over, over. So he was kind of mediocre. He was struggling going under this. But what I like about it is he still had 10 to 13 field goal attempts. And those are pretty consistent field goal attempts. And then over here in the last uh, three games, he has 14, 15, and 12. So he's still kind of in that range, a little bit on the higher side, getting the 14 and 15 in the last two games. So hopefully he's building up a little bit of confidence. Um, he's got 42 points in the last two games. So we like him to go over again tonight. So again, our favorite plays, if you want to do a five-player flex card, we're going to go with Jabari Smith, Johnny Davis, Jake LaRavia, Emmanuel Miller, Blake Wesley, and then this, however you say his name, Smith, over five rebounds are the ones that jumped out at me. I looked at a few other plays over here because usually, typically on this for NBA, I'll come over here and I'll also sort the difference by rebounds. So when I sorted this, he popped for over rebounds. The other guys were kind of one big game and the rest were kind of down. And then when we look at the difference in assist, they're three and then we get down to 1.8 real quick. There wasn't a big gap between what they'd average. That was usually one big game and then one down game. But Anyways, that's what we like. Go out there and make some money. And uh, yeah, we'll see you back tomorrow for NBA.